it's me again, Marco, and uh, today I'm going to prepare for you a veal chop Milanese style. So the requirement for preparing this dish are uh, veal chop, which is been already buttered. This uh, type of veal is like uh, 350 gram each piece. Uh, it comes to a ra in a rack of a seven, seven and chop, uh, seven to five chop. Um, we're gonna use some um, um, flour for doing the Milanese, some egg beaded, some breadcrumbs. You can do your, in this case, I'm using uh, panko breadcrumbs, uh, but you can usually use uh, also your bread, dry, dry bread and, uh, and blender, and some Parmesan cheese. So for garnish also the plate, I will prepare a simple uh, rocket salad with cherry tomato, drizzle with the olive oil and uh, balsamic vinegar. Starting the process, I will uh, seasoning with the salt and pepper our veal chop. Both of the side, of course. Place it on the flour. This is basic uh, process for the Milanese. Make sure it's well dusted. Pass through the egg yolk. Flavor my breadcrumbs with the Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese is an, op is an option. Originally, Milanese is made just with the breadcrumbs. But you can still flavor it with some Parmesan cheese. You can add some different spices. You can, uh, you can uh, put some parsley on it. But originally, it's just breadcrumbs, not even... Uh, not even uh, um, Parmesan cheese. It's also what they're calling orecchio of uh, elefante. It's meaning uh, elephant ear. To have best result, I'll probably do it another, dip it again on the egg, double cram it. And again. We go. On a larger pan with the some uh, clarified butter. I will emerge my Milanese. The olive oil should be very hot. Around 180 degrees. Probably if you don't find the village chop, you can just e easily use some uh, veal tenderloin or some uh, veal loin, butter into scallop, uh, 
and uh, uh, breadcrumb same as we did, same as we did with the uh, with the big uh, vilchop, and I use the same process. If you don't have clarified butter, also you can use uh, some uh, simple olive oil. I suggest you more the clarified butter, which will give more flavor, more taste to your uh, beef scallop. Once I see that uh, the coloration of the, the, the bread crumb start to turn into brown from the side, I will be sure that I can start to turn my Milanese. The process will take approximately eight minutes. I used to serve this, uh, this scallop also with uh, some fondant potato, some uh, uh, caramelized uh, lemon uh, zest, uh, some uh, confit cherry tomato. Today we are doing something simple, something that you can do also in your home. As you can see, once uh, the meat start to start to cook, start to shrink a little bit because the reaction of the protein. Most probably, the part of the bones will be a little bit remain a little bit uh, pink, uh, respect to the other size of the the the, um, the meat of the scallop, which is been buttered previously, which will absorbing the extra fat. And immediately we start to season it with some Maldon salt, which is a, a, a sea salt flex. You can use regular sea salt flex, no need to be just Maldon salt. Maldon salt is the case now. If you don't have Maldon salt, you can use just regular salt. So to finish our dish, we are going to use half lemon, some rocket leaves, cherry tomato, olive oil, and the balsamic vinegar. Of course, seasoning with salt and pepper. So starting from uh, um, the beginning, we have our lemon placed on the side of the, of the, the plate. Place simple your Milanese. Add your rocket leaves. I using in this moment the Italian rocket leaves, but if you don't find the Italian rocket leaves, you can find the, the um, what you can uh, have on the market. I believe it's called uh, Giorgia. Cherry tomato, cut by half. Little bit of olive oil. Balsamic vinegar. Few drop. Some salt. Some pepper. We're gonna toast wisely. And simply place on the side of your plate. You can also, you can also uh, place it on the on top of the of uh, the the, the biscotto. There we go. This is done.
thank you for watching us. Uh, this is just a final uh, presentation and uh, I hope you enjoy and buon appetito. Thank you.